Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper, and today I'm going to show you how to sync Loop Cloud with Ableton Live. But really, this is how you sync Loop Cloud with any DAW. It's super simple. It does it almost automatically. So you can see here I've got Loop Cloud open and I've got Ableton Live open. And all I need to do is go into plugins and search for Loop Cloud. When you install the Loop Cloud app, you're going to install the Loop Cloud VST. I'm just going to take that and drop it right here. It's going to open up a new MIDI channel. And if I jump back into Loop Cloud for a second, uh, now you'll see that when I play a sample, it's actually going to get played right inside of here. So let's just go ahead and find a sample just for fun. It's going to load it up. And you can see here, Uh, spacebar works to start and stop it and another thing you'll notice is that it automatically connects it already connected I didn't have to do anything as long as loop clouds open and your DAW is open it's going to connect automatically uh, and I also synced up the BPM it's got 135 here and 135 here so now when I preview this I can actually preview it along with my track which is phenomenal so let me show you a little bit further about how to use Loop Cloud. If you don't know what Loop Cloud is, it's an application that allows you to search through your Loop Masters sample packs, MIDI packs, and patches very easily and very intuitively. So this is synced to my Loop Masters account, and I have all of the files from my Loop Masters account synced up to the database inside of Loop Cloud. And I can actually search through them and preview them without ever downloading them onto my disk. So I only need to download the files that I want. Now you can actually go into the store and buy packs or buy single samples after you preview them. And you can actually preview them in time with your track. So just take a second. Uh, usually you'd have to go preview the preview track and maybe one or two preview samples and then download and hope everything works out. Now you can actually be inside of your project and run a loop with your project to see how well it fits. Is that not incredible? So uh, I have a track here in the key of E at 135 BPMs. So what I can do is come into uh, the key and BPM. And these are all, again, I've already purchased all of these. These are already tracks I have. So I'm going to come in and type in 130 for BPM. And to 140 because plus or plus or minus 5 BPM usually is okay in terms of warping so double click and let's go 140 right here and it's just gonna start narrowing things down but what's even better is now I can sort by key now this is E major and you'll see that this uh, actual file name is just E and that is just terrible I'm sure you might have had this happen to you but let's say I'm looking for E major the only way to search for that inside of the Ableton Live browser is just type E. But every word, E is the most common letter in the English <laughs> uh, alphabet. So everything's going to have an E in it, right? Usually, samples and loops aren't titled major. You can see here I've got in this Dub Pistols one, there actually is something titled E major right here. But it's not actually E major, it's E flat major. So can you imagine how awesome this is going to be once you get this? And this is a free app so go download it okay and another reason why you want to download it even if you don't have a lot of things purchased from loop masters every week there's a batch of new samples and loops that you can download for free inside of the inspiration folder and i'll show you that at the end of the video but i just want to show you so i'm going to hit major and e so c d e and now look at these are all e major files so already way better browser than the one inside of Ableton Live and I believe inside of most DAWs because most DAWs are going to run into that same problem when you're looking for inside of file names for just an E. It's not going to work, right? But this narrows it down, all the keys, E major, inside of the BPM range. So now I can go ahead and play my track and preview these along with it. So let's just go ahead and pick something. Hmm. So let's go ahead and run the track. You see how they're synced up?
Okay, so you see me bouncing back and forth between the two right now. One, if you have two screens, which I actually do, but I can't use to screen record, it's this doesn't happen. You're just going to be bouncing back and forth with your thing. It's not going to be closing and opening a program. And also, I have to stop it so I can talk to you without music playing. So that's another reason why the workflow is a little bit finicky here while I'm recording this video. Okay, so let's just say that this particular sample, which is currently located on the Loopmaster servers, is the one I want for my project. I've already heard it in conjunction with my project. And by the way, you can come in and actually tweak out the BPM. You can half time it or two times it. Uh, you can actually change the rhythm here if you wanted to. If you've got like a single shot kick, you can turn on kick one and it will just give you that standard kick pattern. Uh, you can also change the pitch up or down right here. And you've got so many other options. So let's just say this is the one I want. I'm actually going to download the wave because this is just uh, better. It's the same sample. One's an RX, one's a wave. And by the way, if we wanted to filter out RX, I could just come into content types or formats and just choose wave and it will get rid of all of the RX files for me. So that's helpful. And it's the same thing with genres. If let's say I'm only looking for, you know, rock or country, I can come in and pick at that uh, as well. But let's just say uh, this is the track or this is the loop I want. I'm going to hit download high quality file. And remember, this is just preview quality right now. This isn't the top quality that it actually is. It's just so you can stream and download and get the preview quick and easily without having to wait too long. So I'm just going to hit download high quality file. Click it. You'll see that it's going to be downloading right now. It's going to download to the Loop Cloud Library, wherever you've designated that folder on your computer. And now I can drag and drop this into my project. And I can do it one of two different ways. I can drag the original file, click and drag and drop. Or I can drag the process file. And this is going to be, like right now, uh, the BPM for this file is at 140, but it's being processed to play at 135. So if I take the process file, it's actually going to drag and drop at 135 BPM, and that's not what I want. So I'm just going to take the original file, and I'm good to go. But if you've made some other changes here, like adjusted the pitch, and you really like the way it sounds, and you don't want to risk having to do it a second time inside your DAW, you can just drag that process file. You're good to go, man. It's so, so awesome. This is the way I do my browsing, you know, especially if I'm looking for loops, samples, or MIDI files. It's just phenomenal. And this key... Uh, sort of sorting by key with the proper tags is so clutch in my opinion. So anyway, that's how to get it synced up inside Ableton Live and why it's important and how to use it kind of briefly. But I'm going to be giving out more tutorials for these things in the future. If you have any questions about Loop Cloud, hit me up here on YouTube or on my Facebook or even on my website if you really need to. And uh, I'm open to answering questions because it's just such a great app and I think everybody should have it. But before I jump out, just one last thing. I'm going to go into instruments. I'm going to clear all these tags. And you'll see up here at the very top, and this is where it's going to be every time. Every time you open up Loop Cloud, it's going to be new inspirations from Loop Masters. You drag down. All of these are samples, and they're free from Loop Masters. So if I come in and preview this bass sound. And let's say I like that. I'm going to download it to my disk right now immediately because next week it's going to refresh and this sample will be gone but there'll be a new one that replaced it but it, this particular specific sample will be gone so every week even if you don't have a lot of content like i was saying on loop masters you want to come into loop cloud and just download this inspiration because it's free and you can use them just like you bought them so phenomenal and after like you know three months of doing that you're already going to have a pretty substantial library that you can again sort through easily <laughs> so clutch. Definitely feeling this new app. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.